And we continue our primary coverage this morning with political expert and editor of the LULAC Political Letter, David Yonkai. David, thanks so much for joining us this morning, giving your insight here. here. Let's you. go back to the U.S. Senate race on the Democratic side, of course, here. A hotly contested race, a lot of eyes on this nationally as well. Why do you think that is? Well, mainly because Pat Toomey as a first-term senator is vulnerable, and he's vulnerable because of the gun issue. He has uh, alienated progressives as well as a core conservative base of his support on that issue. And so uh, it's hotly contested because the Democrats want to take back the Senate. And uh, it was one of those races where it was widely watched nationally. A big victory for Katie McGinty last night. What did she do right? Well, she did eight million things right. She had eight million dollars wow. in her coffers. And she also had the support of Governor Tom Wolf and uh, the two big guns in Washington, uh, President Obama and Vice President, uh, Vice President Biden. So that was an asset right here in the primary contest. Do you see those endorsements being an asset or a liability when it comes to the general election just a few months Well, ago? you know, the uh, top of the ticket is probably going to be Donald Trump. I think that any type of, um, any type of endorsement by a sitting president uh, is going to help McGinty mainly because it'll energize the base and get Democrats out. I believe that this is going to be a close race come November and the sequel of a uh, Joe Sestak, um, um, uh, Pat Toomey race is just not in the cards. And if you look at the numbers, this is a pretty fascinating look at this race for the numbers because McGinty won by 42%. Um, you know, Sestak came in 32%, but John Fetterman, the mayor of Braddock, got 19%. If Fetterman was not in that race, would these results have been different? Good wow. point. All right, and your website, if you don't mind. Uh, Lulac Political Letter. Black Spot. Um, Lulac Political Letter. Black Spot. Com. Well, thanks so much for being here this morning. So you're going to stick around for another hour and a half or so. Yes, right? I am. All right. I'm in for the duration. <laughs> thanks, All right. Man. And we continue our primary coverage this morning with political expert and editor of the Lulac Political Letter, David Yonkai. David, thanks so much for being here this morning. Waking up Very early with to us here. today. Yes. So let's go back to the presidential race here. Of course, you have Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Big nights for them. Is this. The final push for them, have they secured the nomination? Yes, I really think they have. You will be seeing probably a preview of the general election uh, uh the uh, general election uh, uh, in 2016. But basically, what they did is they secured the nominations. Uh, unless something cataclysmic happens, both of them are going to be uh, on their way to the nominations. And it's a preview of what's going to be happening in November. As we've been saying, Pennsylvania finally mattered. You know, a real key player in this uh, time around. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it takes a long, big race like this to have Pennsylvania matter. Uh, we have always been an afterthought, mainly because our primary came late. But what happens with a race like this when you have Donald Trump and 17 candidates starting on the Republican side and a contested race, Pennsylvania mattered because the timing was just right. And the headlines have been coming out about many Democrats switching over to the Republican side. Republicans will argue it's because they're excited about voting Republican, but Democrats will argue it's just because they want maybe Trump to win and have a better uh, general election coming up for Hillary Clinton. Which narrative do you agree it's with? It's a little bit of both, okay? I think that if this election is going to be tested years after it has occurred, I think people are going to analyze that. I think right now it's a little bit of both. I think when you talk to people, they say that uh, they went over to the uh, Republican side to vote for Trump, to either stop him or to help him. Uh, you know, you talked about Joe Peters. A lot of people actually changed their registration to vote for Joe Peters, but that didn't work out. All right, David Yonke, we're going to have much more with you each half hour. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Thank, Thank you. you.